So there was nothing good at the Flamingo's place, but across the street, there was a really cool place called Pavement. Um, and I'll show you the video. But anyway, I got you a couple things and some we may share, but this cool blouse with this necklace. And then I got this sweater, which is really nice, like short sleeve, again, like a V-neck sweater, similar to what we got in Chicago, but I don't know. And then I got this cool coin purse and I got this, which is sort of like a winter thing, but so different. See how the color is like that? In today's video, we're gonna show you the haul I got of the things I bought, vintage shopping on my last day in Austin, Texas. So on my way to the airport, Audrey sent me a, an address of this place called Pavement. And um, it was a really different shop because it had chandeliers, the seating that was plush seating. Um, it was de nicely decorated with, you know, Halloween decorations um, and cobwebs. And all of their racks were really organized with signs labeling what was on the racks. And also their shoes were organized on um, shoe racks. So um, hope you enjoy this video, guys. So I'm going to show you just a quick pan over all the items that I purchased and then you'll see Audrey and me in a few seconds uh, trying things on and giving you a mini fashion show. So Audrey and I are going to go through everything. However, this Baylor University hoodie crop top sweatshirt I bought at the university in their bookstore or gift shop. Um, and then the only other item that I did not purchase at Pavement were the cowboy boots which I purchased at Boot Barn. Watch that video I posted. Just look for our Texas videos and you'll see where I got that. But other than that, um, the two tops, the necklace, the wallet, and um, the earrings um, and the sweater were all from Pavement. Welcome back to another video. I have Audrey here. This is my last Texas video. I'm back home. I've been home for like a couple weeks. Yeah. So um, I just want to show you uh, some of the things I got at Texas. So some Audrey and I will share and other things um, is just for Audrey. So Audrey, as you know, I've mentioned, she tells me where to go. She's expert on what vintage shops to yeah. visit whenever we go to a new city. So she told me about two places I should go to before I left Austin. So we're gonna start with the first item. We're gonna do Baylor sure. University. So stay oh, tuned. Okay. This is a sweatshirt. It's um like a, it's a hoodie. It's like a cloth, thin cloth material, but it's really light. That's why I like it. Um, yeah. So back up. So it's a crop top. So it's actually cut. You can see it's shorter. It's not. It doesn't have the waistband that a lot of sweatshirts have. It's really comfortable. It's like soft inside. So yeah. And I got it um like loose so if she wants to wear if it gets cold she can wear something underneath but it says you know Baylor University bears those are the school colors the green and the and yellow or gold yes yeah, I'm gonna see if it's like long oh yeah it is so it's cute and yeah. you know it's funny because this color is actually um next year she's gonna be at Langley High School so this it is makes actually, my eyes look green see yeah and then this is her high school colors to be next year yeah so. uh, green and yellow yeah is it yellow yeah so green. So Evan's school color is green. We have sweatpants that are this color too. Okay, stay tuned for the next item. The next item Audrey's gonna try on, I got her this, which I don't know, I think I might wear it too, but it's really cool. Honestly, you look better with it, I think. It's red underneath, but on top is a black lace and the collar has like lines on it. Audrey just isn't sure how to wear it, but I'll I'll figure it out. Okay, stay tuned. She's going to try it on. This is the next um, shirt. Or yeah, long sleeve. so this actually has like the roused shoulders. Um, they're not flat. Mm -hmm. And then you could see there's a design. So it's vertical stripes in the center um, and, and vertical stripes across the collar. It's a little itchy. Yeah, because of the lace. But I think she would look good with her hair up for this one. Um, okay. And in the back, there's no lines. It's just lace in the back. But it's, it's, I think, very fashionable. I like it. I like it, It's too. cute. Yeah. 
Stay tuned. Okay, Audrey's getting ready. She's taking the other shirt off, but this is the next shirt. It is another lace with um, the black piping or threading, but it's lace and it's sheer on some parts. But the cool thing is, is it has these black and gold buttons. I also got this spiked gold necklace to match, maybe mix and match, I don't know, but it's kind of funky, cool. And then this, I feel like you could dress up or dress down. You could wear this with jeans or shorts or skirt, but that's dressier, but it's a blouse and it's kind of poofy. It's not form fitted, but Audrey will try this on next. This is the next one. And I really, really like this one because I don't see know. how um, it's a little poofy and then see how there's the, the threading, the black threading, but it's cinched. So the wrist part is cinched. There's the gold buttons. But it so, looks really nice and I love the necklace. Yeah, so she paired it with, she never takes this eye off that we got in Greece. Yeah, because I have one matching with mom. And then this is the spikes, which is kind of rocker-like, but she, you know, when you lay your necklaces, it's cool. Yeah, that's the back, it's sheer, so. Yeah. Okay, see the next okay. one. While Audrey tries on the next top, I just wanted to show you that I got these earrings which are uh, long, they're about three inches, but it's cut out where it has a pattern, like holes throughout and it's teardrop and a circle on top, but it's floral and it's red. So it's very different, and, but the good thing is they're very, very light. You could barely feel that they're on. I hate it when you have big earrings, but they are weighted down, so it actually pulls your, your lobe and your, your piercing hole um, stretches, and I don't like that. And also the next thing I got, which is reasonably priced, is only $8. It's a beaded coin purse or wallet. So if you ever go out, um, you know, you could just take this and put your coins or your, your bills or your credit cards or your ID in it. And it's cute. And you can't go wrong, only $8. So the name of the store that I got all this stuff at is Pavement, except for the Baylor University one, which I got at the university. So yeah, Audrey actually wore these for picture day. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she wore these for picture day for um, her school photos this year. Okay, so stay tuned for the next top. It's actually a sweater. You know, if you recall in Chicago, she got a white floral um, sweater with a three fourth length short, shorter sleeve. And this is similar, but more of like the fall and winter colors. So, and it also has beading and sequins on it. So you'll see that one next. This is an extra, shirt. I Wait. wore this. Yeah, okay, got started. Uh, um a concert, the Baby Doobie concert, and it was super nice. I love this. Probably my favorite. Actually, my favorite is the white blouse and this one. Oh um, yeah, so if you saw our, our video, check out the video I posted the uh, two videos ago, I think, but it's when we went to the Baby Doobie concert. Yeah. She was oh, wearing this top. It has like, um, like glitter and stuff. Yeah, it's beadwork, sequins. Sequins, and it's just super cool design. And the colors are uh, fall colors, but this, this, you can Aqua wear them. green mint. I mean, you can wear them any time of the year. Yeah, exactly. But it's super cool. It's more matchy of this the season. It's it's really nice. It's really really nice. And it's really light, right? It's yeah, not too it's, thick. No, it's really like light. It feels like a normal sweater. Yeah, and I like actually this collar. Oh yeah, it, full, it actually um yeah it does unfold a lot. I feel but like there must have been no there isn't. But yeah, it's um you see there's collar there's beadwork around the collar as well. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Okay. So um, the last item, um, hold on, it's, it's a special grand finale. Yeah. So What's stay, I, wish, I don't know. Oh, I'll, we'll figure it out. Stay tuned. Okay, though. guys, so this is the last one. And when you go to Texas, you have to buy cowboy boots turn. So you see this, these are so different. They're unique. Audrey helped me pick them out. If you saw the last video, you saw all the different options I we had. I honestly think these were the best ones just because they're cactuses. They're cactus, which is like a Southwest thing, but they also have this like beading. beading on the steel, like the tip and on the back, can you turn? Like the back part of the heel. So those are gonna be different. You're not gonna be like the regular schmegular type of cowboy boot. I got my cowboy hat. And it's super cool. So that's all guys. It's gonna be a quick video. Hope yeah. you guys enjoyed that one. And you don't have to spend a lot of money. If you're traveling, try to find vintage shops. Just vintage thrift 
um something cool like different that you really can't find anywhere else that would be memorable that you got it from that area so yep exactly you get like you definitely shop like that more often because it's more timeless and you it's just different and you can get unique things that no one else can get anywhere yeah. else so these boots were i mean cowboy boots can run anywhere up to almost a thousand dollars a couple of hundred but mm -hmm. these fortunately were on clearance sale because they were the last ones and they were our size so that was lucky for us yes and so for the tops they range for anywhere from um like 25 dollars around 20 that to 15 dollars yeah usually the range and the, the purse i told you was eight dollars the little coin purse the necklace was not a lot maybe like yeah 14 dollars and maybe. it looks nice it, does, it looks like a deep yeah expensive. they look nice good quality so anyway hope you guys like that one and we yeah. will see you in the next one bye, bye guys bye